In our previous lesson, we studied about the qualitative characteristics of accounting information. And we said some of the qualitative characteristics of accounting information are materiality, consistency, relevance, objectivity, reliability. In this lesson, we will study users of accounting information. Our objective for this lesson is that by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to state at least four users of accounting information and their information needs. The users of accounting information are the various groups of people that use the accounting information in making decisions. And one of the users of accounting information is investors and shareholders. Investors are people or group of people or individuals or corporate bodies that want to invest their money now. With the sole aim of what? Receiving interest in the future. So they want to know the performance of the business in order to decide whether to invest or not to invest. So uh, they need the information about the performance of the business in order to be able to what? To predict if the business is in a position to pay them dividend when due or to pay them interest in case they invest in the business. So financial statements coupled with a knowledge of business plans, market forecast, and the character of management can assist investors in assessing the future cash flows of the entity. Shareholders are part owners of the business and they invested in the business with the sole aim that the business will pay them their dividend. So they also need the accounting information to enable them assess the ability of the entity to pay their dividends. The second users of accounting information we look at is employees. Employees and their representative groups, that's the various labor unions, are also interested in information about stability and profitability of their employers. Stability is about the entity continuing to exist in a foreseeable future so that they will have job security and profitability of their employers. It is only when the employers make profit that they will be able to pay them their wages and salaries. The employees are also interested in information which enable them to assess the ability of the enterprise to provide remuneration. That's the ability of the business to pay them their wages and salaries as they work for the organization. When the time is due, the organization's ability to pay them. The retirement benefit, when they retire from their job, is the organization in such a position to able to pay their retirement benefits and employment opportunities? Is the organization going to be in existence to provide employment for them into the foreseeable future? So employees need the accounting information in making these decisions. Lenders, they are also interested in information that enables them to de determine whether the organization is in a position to pay the principal and the interest in case they give them loan when the time is due. Customers also have an interest in information about continuance of an enterprise, especially when they have a long-term involvement with the enterprise or are dependent on the enterprise. So, Customers are also interested in the continuous existence of the business, especially if they have a long-term involvement with the enterprise or they are dependent on the enterprise. We we'll look at government and their agencies. Government and their agencies are also interested in the allocation of resources and therefore the activities of enterprises. Government and their agencies need information in order to regulate the activities of enterprises, determine taxation policies, and the basis for national income and similar statuses. So, corporate bodies, 
such as companies, are supposed to pay income tax to the government. And the income tax is, ba is paid based on their profit. So the government and their agencies also need the accounting information in order to be able to determine the amount of tax that the companies will pay to them. Management is the directing mind of the organization. So they also need information that will assist them in the formulation of policies, planning, and making decisions in various matters connected with routine or non-routine operations of the business entity. Competitors, they, are, they also need the information in order to compare their performance with their rival companies, to learn and develop strategies to improve their competitiveness. So the competitors are rival companies and they need the information of their competitors in order to compare their performance with that of their competitors. In this lesson, we studied about the various users of accounting information and their information needs. And we said some of the users of accounting information are investors and shareholders, employees, competitors, lenders, government and their agencies. In our next lesson, we will study limitations of financial statement. Let me see you in the next lesson.